Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to my channel. So this is the continuation of Salesforce Marketing Cloud series. In previous video, I showed you how to create a template in Marketing Cloud. And in this video, I will show you how to create an email message using that template. So let's get started. So first thing, you can create the email message from email studio as well as from content builder also so right now i am gonna create from content builder so you can see in the templates folder this is the nto template which we have created in the previous video now we are gonna use this template to create the email message so i'll just go to this welcome folder so here you can see some uh, PNGs or JPG images are available. So I'm just gonna click create and Here you can see the available items for you to do. Okay, so email message you can create email template You can create content blocks. You can create mobile messages also you can create or upload content as well Okay, so all these things you can perform in your content builder. So now right now i'm gonna create an email message so i'll just click on email message so once you click on that button it's gonna give you the available templates to choose from in order to create your email okay so i would want to use the template which i have created so i'll just go to this saved tab over here and here you can see the template which we have created and your template is there so i'm just click i'm just gonna click on this and i'll select it now uh, let's provide it uh, a name to this email so i'm just gonna say welcome email and uh, let's uh, provide some description or let it be so i'll just uh, I will just gonna do the next nothing is mandatory over here so here you can see again we are on the template page kind of so these four tabs we have seen in the uh, while we were creating the template as well so if you want to change the things you can change over here as well for now we are not gonna change anything so I'm just gonna give the subject over here so I'm just gonna say welcome to Northern Trial Outfitters. Okay. Now I'm just gonna click next, click save and click next. Okay, so you can provide the pre-header as well. So pre-header is nothing but the uh, the subject line. You can see the subject line we, we can all see in the email. And pre-header is the content that you see just above the body of your email message. Okay. So that is the pre-header. So let's say in pre-header, I'm just going to say let's got to know. Let's get to know each other because this is a welcome email so i'm greeting as well as uh, i would want the customer to engage with me okay so just click save and uh, now let's uh, make some uh, changes in our content so this is the logo so i'm just gonna click on the section below this logo so this is uh, an image block basically and above that as you can see when i clicked on that above section nothing works because that i have already locked in my template so i cannot change that but below this section i can always change it so on click of this as you can see the content block on the left side has opened uh, now let's see let's make some change so these are the basic things but in basic we do not have to do anything the 
basically we have to change the content so i'll just click on it again so on the second click i can see on the left side the properties of this images okay so as you can see right now there is no image available over here so i'm just gonna click on this replace button so this replace button basically opens up the content builder where your content is uh, uh, placed so you can get the desired image or desired content block from there okay so here i'm just gonna use this welcome step one hero png and i'm just gonna click select so as you can see the image has been placed over here and uh, it is it has a message like where welcome to northern trial outfitters kind of text which has already been created now uh, let's click on this text box so on this text box whatever properties are there so on the left hand side you can see the pen over here so this is the text and uh, the font styles on top similar like uh, uh, a typical text uh, builder we have anywhere so all those options for us are available over here as well so now what we are going to do uh, i'm just going to click on this and here i am gonna choose a new data source to maybe get some data from you know somewhere else okay so data source is nothing but the data extensions in the marketing cloud so data extensions are similar to the data tables okay in marketing cloud where your customer data or maybe some other data is stored so from here i'm gonna get some details to show in that text block so i'll just click on data extension so three data extensions are available for me to use newsletter and to subscribers and test so i'm just gonna select and to subscriber for now and i'm just gonna click okay okay so now next thing is uh i'm gonna do the so i'm just gonna select this text over here and uh, i'm just gonna click over this and from here so instead of this name what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the first name okay so now you can see what has happened i have gone inside the text block i have selected the some other uh, data resource and from that i have selected the data extension and one of the data extension was the subscriber data extension which uh, is which is storing the subscriber information like name email and etc etc so there i have used i have selected the data source then i selected this string which was there and uh, some of the from some of the available fields i chose first name so this is the kind of now you can see in double percentage this is called the personalization string in marketing cloud so what this means basically so this means let's say this email message you have created and you are sending it out to 10 people who whose whose data is available in that data extension so when this email will be out those 10 people are gonna get their first name instead of this string okay so let's say uh, my name is abhishek so i'll receive this email as welcome to northern trial outfitters abhishek and then remaining content so each individual person will receive this email with their first name so that is the personalization personalization string you can use to personalize the email so that the customer will feel more you know personalized manner that the brand is taking care of them and it is more in 
engaged kind of a uh, way to uh, communicate with your customers okay so now we are going to do i'm just going to click on this thing so as you can see uh, some of the predefined text i have placed over here hello and welcome text for signing up by so here what what i'm doing uh, the i'm putting one more uh, personalization string along with uh, uh, something uh, some function as well so lower case this is basically called the amp script there is a scripting language in marketing cloud so this is basically give you whatever uh, text or something is there in opt-in source it's gonna make that into lower case and showcase over here dynamically so when i say dynamically means this opt-in source would be a field in your data extension in your source data ex extension that is anti subscriber and uh, it could have different values for different subscribers so to whoever subscriber this email is going it's gonna pick the specific value for that subscriber and it's gonna convert it into the lower case and send it to the email so that's how this amp script is going to work so we can say it's a, a it's kind of a, a dynamic uh, dynamically it's picking the data from data extensions for each subscriber so this is uh, we have completed now let's uh, okay let's click on the button text okay so in button text what i'm gonna make change let's say this text field i'm gonna make it change to latest news okay now as you can see on the right side it has started to reflecting the thing and i'm just gonna click done editing and again done editing now let's go to content tab okay first let's save it now let's go to this content tab so again whatever content is there that is visible to me now let's uh, take this complete your profile and uh, let's drop it over here and uh, let's click done editing let's save it again so now as you can see this uh, email is almost ready for you to use so all the things are there our header is there personalization we have done and uh, some button things we have changed already so that is uh, how you can create a, an email message using the email template and how you can make change in the properties of specific sections how you can use personalization string as well as some app script as well in your email message to personalize the email message so that was all about this video how you can create an email in marketing cloud if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel hopefully in the next video i will show you how to test and send the sample email message so have a good day thank you